Hey, welcome back everyone. Live CUBE coverage here in New York City for MongoDB.local, formerly Mongo World. Now it's a multi-city tour originating here in New York City. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We're here with the CMO, Chief Marketing and Strategy Officer of MongoDB, Peter Lander, and Chris Gruz, General Manager, Worldwide ISV Alliances and Marketplace at AWS. He's known for the AWS Marketplace, which is where all the action is. Chris, great to see you, Peter. Thanks yeah, for coming on. See you. Thanks, see you. Yeah, good to see you, Tim. So we're kicking off the day here, um, a lot of action, the talks here. I'm learning about sharding and all the great stuff on MongoDB, a lot of tech talks, a lot of developers, yes. great event. So far, I mean, we're oversubscribed with regards to registration coming in. If we, if everybody shows up, we'll probably have the fire marshal here. We're really excited, yeah. lots of good <laughs> announcements, lots of good developers yeah. connecting, learning, growing, it's great. Yeah. I call it a tournament of champions, a lot yes. of these developers coming in. You know, the, the theme is love, your love the developers, yes. the, to the CXOs. It's a build culture for the developer themselves, the movement for developer first, yeah. developer led. Um, you guys are doing a multi-city tour. Quickly explain the event change. Yeah, yeah. If you don't so mind. If you remember, and you guys were here last year, uh, we did a three-day event here in New York where we brought in uh, three, 4,000 customers to, to, to go through the regular learnings, trainings, um, uh, announcements, et cetera. But the reality is our developers are global, our business is global. Yeah. And sometimes asking somebody to make that trek all the way to New York doesn't quite fit. So we're taking this on the road, connecting uh, peers, companies, developers with the experts in region yeah. over 26 cities around the globe. So we're excited about that. Awesome, you got AWS here, big partner of, of Mongo. Chris, Huge. Chris, you run the marketplace. It's probably yeah. one of the most um, understated stories in the industry. Yep. We've covered on theCUBE extensively because we think it's really the most important trend on top of yeah. the cloud scale going next gen. You're seeing all kinds of new growth opportunities with generative AI, with AWS. But the marketplace is coming together as the center point of procuring, developing technology. Yeah. Um, it's been quite the commerce engine yeah. for companies. Yeah, yeah, it's a 10 year old service now. And so, you know, it's, it's got a ton of momentum, as you mentioned, and it's been great for developers. That's where one of the nice kind of alignment with MongoDB comes out is they've got such an active developer community. AWS loves developers. And, and so Marketplace is one of the ways that we're delivering third-party products to the developer community. Yeah. And, you know, we've got a great self-service engine that we've been working with MongoDB on so that customers can just come in and get their hands on the technology. They can do a free trial. They can go into a pay-as-you-go model. And then they can just eventually step up to a larger subscription. And, you know, and so there's a really nice kind of landing capability through Marketplace. <laughs> and then we kind of complement that with a lot of the management governance features, you know, where they can now control what's yeah. going on, they can see what's going on across their environments. And so it's just become a really nice way for our customers to bring yeah. in third-party products. It's the preferred way to do it now with AWS. I got to say, you guys know, we've been following both your companies for a long time. I remember when TenGen was called, before MongoDB changed their name. What I love about both AWS and Mongo is that your use case value proposition remains the same for developers no matter what they are. If they're in a garage or in a dorm room to the boardroom, large scale, the, the workflow is still the same. You're buying and provisioning, you're standing stuff up and building applications yep. and running it somewhere. Yep. But what's different is it's become a platform. Yes. Right, so this age of platforms here, the marketplace is critical mm -hmm. for the use case of adding on to what you got. Yes. Operationally. Chris, this is where Mongo and you guys shine. Can you share the innovations because it's kind of nuanced, but the yeah. point is, is that there's so much coming out of these yeah. growth engines. You guys are great earnings, your business is strong and only growing. You guys are accelerating. Talk about the dynamic between the marketplace yep. and MongoDB and, and the benefits yeah. of why customers should look at that. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. A lot of people, when they first think about marketplace, they think of it's, it's a website experience. And that's a really big part of our charter, but you know, what's becoming more and more important is, is the automation that we're now putting into Marketplace that really allows third-party products to look more like a first-party service within AWS. And so, you know, having a cleaner subscription experience, free trial experience, helping our buyers with how they evaluate technologies. One of the features that uh, MongoDB was actually one of our launch partners for was uh, our Vendor Insights uh, launch at reInvent, which we just GA'd a few months ago. And that really helps the customers with how to look at the security profile of a SaaS application. And so we're constantly looking for ways to kind of you know, make that, that buying experience go even faster. You know, taking advantage of things that we can streamline on legal, vendor assessments, and then once you get to deployment, you know, how do we make that even better? One of the things we announced at our Reinforce conference, as you saw, was built-in. And built-in is the, you know, basically our, our approach to streamlining how third-party software gets deployed out of Marketplace 
into AWS environments. And we're actually having production ready templates that are blessed by our SecOps teams, so when a customer wants to launch that technology, they can launch it and it's a pre-approved template that has gone through all of our security approvals as well. Talk about the integrations, because this is where I think uh, this built-in you mentioned was announced, yeah. for the folks who don't know, they're actually integrating some built-in templates for security in these use cases that are, I won't say complex, but just need frictionless yep. snap together. Yep. What are some of the integrations you guys are working on that are being talked about here that are hot? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, so core to this whole thing, or core to MongoDB from the early days was around the developer experience and removing as much friction as possible. And it's obvious yeah. you know, that uh, from the beginning of the cloud, all new applications are being built, <laughs> run, and operated um, in, in, the, in the large hyperscalers. And I think AWS was at the forefront of that and really kind of perfected the model on how do you remove the friction from getting developer access to the tooling and services that they need. So we were an early partner with AWS on that movement. Yeah. I think what we've seen is this rapid expansion just over the last year where uh, we announced last March, I believe it was, um, a six year partnership where we went extra deep on the integration. So it wasn't just the work that we're doing with the marketplace. There's integrations in the console, in the management and governance services. We've integrated in with all of the security services like the key management tools mm -hmm. and the SSO. Integrating with a number of the other, um, uh, the other developer oriented services in the, in, in the platform. And what those integrations do is we take the hard work yeah. of stitching these pieces together that are required for developers on the platform and give it to them day one. Right, I think that is such an important thing to do to get them running as quickly as possible with their code. Mm -hmm. Chris, they got developers from 15 years old to the like <laughs> big enterprise teams. Yeah. You guys have a huge customer base. Talk about the, the benefits to AWS's customers, Mongo, Atlas. Yep. I think it's like 60% of your revenue now. Mm -hmm. It's growing in the enterprise. They got great enterprise growth. Yep. So obviously the developers are still using Mongo to build. Yep. Again, in, in the early age, but now as it gets more mature, yep. What are the customers doing with, with Mongo? What can they do yeah. as they look at this macroeconomic where they're right-sizing and retooling and refactoring? Because Gen AI is only going to bring a wave of more yeah. action. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, it's kind of interesting. If you look at how MongoDB is now starting to go to market, it, it resembles very much how AWS is going to market. And what I mean by that is AWS kind of historically started off as a horizontal play where it was a, a platform that people could use in a variety of industries. And uh, you know, as we've matured, we've become more and more vertical in nature. You know, spinning up business units around financial services and healthcare, you know, media and entertainment and so on. And so as you're hearing today, you know, with Atlas for Industries, that very much models into exactly yeah. how we're going to market. Yeah. And while you know, a, you know, MongoDB has a great horizontal story, when you really get into those individual verticals, they have an even more compelling story when you look at some of the, you know, the yeah. storylines that they put together there. And so it really helps us on how we go to market around financial services, healthcare, media entertainment, all the main verticals. There's really good alignment between the two companies. Talk about the customer touch points. You guys are co-selling or not? What's the relationship? You guys work together on co-sale? Yep. Because I know you have that co-sale program. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, MongoDB is uh, involved in our ISV Accelerate program, which is our flagship co-selling uh, engagement. And it's been a, you know, the nice thing is it's not just a North America relationship. It is a global relationship that we have with MongoDB. Well, we do a lot of business here in North America, but last year, as an example, MongoDB was actually the marketplace partner of the year for EMEA. And, and we saw over 100% year-over-year growth just in the EMEA market. And then you fast forward to today, and this year they've already won the partner of the year for ASEAN, so the Singapore area. Yeah. Uh, they're partner of the year there. And then more recently, they also won partner of the uh, year in Chile. So we're seeing great synergy down in LATAM as well. <laughs> and so, you know, the co-sell motion through ISV Accelerate, yeah. leveraging marketplace, is really having a global impact, and that's really exciting to see. Not bad for uh, you increasing your uh, client base. Yeah, no, it's, it's great. I mean, the, the reality is a lot of uh, MongoDB customers are on uh, are, are, are on AWS, and one of the yeah. things you'll see, you've seen in Dave's keynote when we talk about the 45,000 customers running on top of MongoDB today is they come from every industry. They're the extremely yeah. large, well-known brands, all the way down to the kids sitting in the garage coming yeah. up with the next big uh, big thing. I think our opportunity for reach, though, comes from the perspective of partnering with AWS, not just through the ISV Accelerator, becoming part of everything they're doing with yeah. the Global Summits, having AWS as a sponsor, thank you, by the way, <laughs> for our global motion as well. Yeah. Um, and, and then just kind of working together to make our joint customers extremely successful. 
working through on these integrations, yeah. making it as seamless as possible. In fact, at one point, um, I've had a few customer conversations where they actually thought Atlas was an AWS product. We've done <laughs> yeah, such a, a great good. job yeah. getting it into the console and yeah. marketplace and with, with all these integrations that it, it's a seamless experience. That's that frictionless want. right there. Yeah, that exactly. You have that kind of mind share yeah. in the customer base. Guys, this is a huge dynamic. I wrote it in my piece I just published about how the software business is changing around builders. Um, and you know, I'm putting it out there. Love to get your reaction to this comment because it's coming out from the young, younger generation. With Gen AI coming on, we're seeing a step function change on how go-to-market can accelerate. Yeah. So, you know, and to quote Andy Jassy's famous line from Amazon, we, we uh, eliminate the undifferentiated heavy lifting. Yeah. Well, with AI, it automates the differentiated heavy lifting, mm -hmm. which means it's scaling the value proposition. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you now have another dynamic going on where if you get product market fit, whether you're a team inside an enterprise or a startup, using the marketplace kind of dynamic, you yep. could be in market faster mm -hmm. selling. This is kind of not just an upsell opportunity for you, but this is like the new builder culture. If I get it, I hit it, I don't have to build a sales team. Right. This is kind of a huge point to the marketplace that yeah. you have because an enterprise can come in and buy Mongo, mm -hmm. provision it, stand it up, build it, and run it. Mm -hmm. yep. So learning how to build stuff and then running it at scale, the old model is I got to get a sales team, I got to integrate yeah. it in. This is one of the hidden, well yeah. not hidden, it's actually the benefit of the marketplace. Yeah, I mean that's, you, you hit the nail on the head. Like we're trying to remove the undifferentiated heavy lifting. And so like a good example there that we're working with MongoDB on is all the functionality that comes out of Marketplace from a channel perspective. Yeah. And, and that, you know, that's how we look at it, is if we can help MongoDB build channels you know, in international markets or domestic markets and automate that all through Marketplace, uh, that can be a very good thing. And so that's where we've seen our channel partner private offer functionality really yeah. take off yeah. because it now allows Mongo to just authorize channel partners and all these different geos to yeah. resell through Marketplace. Yep. Yeah. And so it really brings that channel persona into the equation. And the other thing that we're working on to also remove that undifferentiated heavy listing is our what we call our tri-party program. So tri-party program is a, uh, it's, a, it's an effort by AWS to actually build uh, system integrator practices with our partners. So we've yeah. actually been doing that with Mongo. We're yeah. taking Mongo and then we're actually introducing them to our top system integrators yeah. and then putting together a practice on top of AWS. Yeah. So this is something that we also announced at reInvent. Uh, it's been a really successful program there and it's just helping them again you know, accelerate their business by not yeah. having to go invest in things that don't really differentiate yeah. what MongoDB does, yeah. instead have that differentiation be Atlas and the whole product line. And you're enabling the customer to get into Mongo easily at levels that they can just a couple clicks yes. in, add on to Atlas's benefits. Yes. That's this new go-to-market. Yes. This is kind of the new flywheel I see. Well, if you, yeah. think, you, you think about that, I mean, the, this, is the, this is the dream of every enterprise and, and the benefit of a developer-oriented or bottoms-up motion is the, the flywheel that gets created with that product-led growth, yeah. right? To, to your point, there's less friction and less time that comes between yeah. I want it and I have it, yeah. right? And you can just get moving so quickly. Yeah. We've found um, our investments, first off, in just the general self-service motion has become a huge funnel driver. We, we have about 1.4 million free users sign up to Atlas every year through our self-service motion. So you see just that funnel creation yeah. that that had. There's no, no sales force in the world yeah. that could meet that many people. Add marketplace integrations into that, we just see that ex, you know, yeah. exponentially extend into the enterprises where yeah. the developers with these, the, these, uh, these big deals with the cloud providers and with Mongo, they can just start spinning up services yeah. right away. I mean, the game yeah. is still the same. It's still the whole other scale, Chris, because yeah. land, adopt, expand is yeah. the business model yeah. of the yeah. cloud. And you come in Mongo, you're learning, yeah. you got Amazon, yeah. you got the yeah. adopt piece. Yep. Once again, adoptions, yeah. the scale kicks in, the yep. joint selling. I mean, this is a huge power dynamic. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's what we're trying to do is, again, you know, if you look historically how people would get new customers, it was, a, it, you know, it was an event, you drive to a webinar, you have some you know, <clears throat> customers that you then follow up with like an inside call center team. And what we're trying to do is take that to the next level yeah. and say, how do we automate that? So instead of having a lead, we actually yeah. have an, a customer that's buying. Yeah. And so we've been doing self-service campaigns with yeah. MongoDB yeah. where you know, we've done a number of campaigns, we've generated over 10,000 yeah. hits to their, their, their page within Marketplace that's led to over 1,000 subscriptions. Not leads, yeah. but actual subscriptions yeah. where it's a paying customer. Yeah. And, and then that really allows you to just get even deeper into that land yeah. and expand motion. 
and you're a platform of platforms because their data platform is becoming adopted. You just help the customer seamless, not seamlessly, more efficiently reduce the cycles yep. to get stuff done, building and standing up the yep. vendors. And also the vendor management piece yep. becomes in. Now I don't have to have a salesperson or an SE come in or Mongo, I can just get click and buy, or John, they can go direct, yes. the relationships on the choice of the customer. The, the beauty of this whole thing is sales reps become customer success experts, and that's where they engage. Yes. Everything that happens between the awareness, uh, you know, initial test, kind of getting, getting familiar with this stuff, yeah. that's hands-on keyboards. You come in, there's yeah. all of the digital programs and assets that help customers move faster. Templates, the built-in stuff. I mean, yeah. this is all things that get the developer up and running quickly. You don't actually engage with a yeah. seller until you're, until you're at the point yeah. to scale and grow. And that's such yeah. a, an interesting position for businesses to be in, and it's a, it's yeah. a luxurious well, one. I think it's going to be a big growth driver for you yeah. guys. And congratulations yeah. on your earnings. You guys blew it out Thank of you. water. Yep. Yep. Uh, saw the numbers. Uh, I think there's a lot more headroom there. there. And the relationship with the marketplace looking yes. good. Chris, yes. what's going on for you? What's new in your world? Yeah, so, uh, you know, a lot of things are going on, right? So, you know, uh, obviously we had the built-in announcement at Reinforce, and so we're really excited about that. Uh, we GA'd the Vendor Insights product, which we previewed at reInvent, yeah. and so that's uh, gotten a lot of attention. It's really helping streamline yeah. that vendor assessment component of how software is being purchased. Uh, the other thing that we just recently launched is our data visualization dashboards. So one of the key pieces of feedback that we're getting from our large partners, now that their business is very material through marketplaces, we need much richer reporting. Yeah. And, and so the data visualization dashboards yeah. really hit that, that need, and so we've been very excited about that. It's been really good in terms of customer feedback. And so uh, that, and then, you know, and then just continuing investment yeah. on the international front. We're continuing to do yeah. more and more on the international side, adding more international features, and that's another big part of yes, our roadmap. Yes, eyes are booming. Um, they're coming in, putting the packages together. Yep. I mean, you guys' ecosystem is diverse and still growing. Oh, yeah, you absolutely. You got SaaS ISVs to full-blown platforms. Yeah, well, it really feeds the, the concept of selection at AWS. Yeah. And what I mean by that is, the reason why Amazon, if you take a step back, is, is successful is the concept of selection. Yeah. And that means that you know, we want to bring in all the technologies that our customers want, regardless if it's a native AWS service, or it's a third party service, or it's a joint solution yeah. between two. And so, you know, it is very important, it's, it's a key part of our motion going forward is to have a very rich set of partners that we can bring to the table and work with customers in a joint motion. Peter, final word, MongoDB's positioning, developer experience, um, developer first, developer yeah. led, platform, yeah. what's the pitch? Look, so, uh, and I think you'll see a lot of it starting today here at uh, Dot .local, we're, we're launching our big brand campaign, love your developers, the reality is, every market shift, every platform shift has been led by the developers and as we see this move into AI, this becomes so much larger with yeah. regards to where the yeah. opportunity yeah. to, to, to yeah. kind of let your developers break free, you know, yeah. uh, uh, unencumber them and see what they innovate and I think that, that whole concept of love yeah. your developers is about give them the tools, yeah. the capabilities, the engagements that they need to do their job extremely well yeah. by making it simple. And that's actually where yeah. getting together with Amazon and building these things that help yeah. it get so much better for developers in their environments yeah. to, to create is so awesome. Yeah, and the database is becoming per application, yeah. any database, yeah. you want time series to relational to NoSQL to document, exactly. yeah. whatever fits the app yeah. is the driven by developers. App. Exactly. Yeah. Thanks for coming on, Chris. Great to see you. Yeah, thank you. All right, CUBE coverage here, MongoDB.local here in New York City, kicking off the multi-city tours, the CUBE coverage. I'm John Furrier, host of the CUBE. We'll be right back after this short break. <laughs>